Hi everyone, Renee here. Today's video comes very highly requested. We are talking all about eye creams, eye serums. I'm going to show you and review for you some of my favorite picks. So let's just dive right in. So we're either concerned with one or all of these issues for this delicate area around our eyes, and that is puffiness, dark circles, fine lines and wrinkles, and sagging eye bags. So a lot of cosmetic companies are fabulous at shamelessly over-exaggerating what their eye products can do for us, which is to eliminate any or all of these symptoms with regular use. Now, I've tried a lot of eye products, certainly not everything out there, but a lot. And I've never found a treatment that is applied topically that you can purchase over the counter that will eliminate any of these symptoms. I think temporarily relieve and diminish. Yes, I think depending on what your issues are. Otherwise, it's really only fillers, laser treatments, and surgery, and of course, most importantly, lifestyle that can effectively eliminate these eye issues. I'm looking for ingredients that will strengthen, nourish, and hydrate the skin, as well as keep it supple and protected because, I mean, let's face it, this area goes through a lot of wear and tear. Essentially, we just really want our eye creams in the long term to be able to prevent the signs of wear and tear for as long as possible. I also look for ingredients that may have some short-term or temporary effects. So lifestyle-related puffiness that we get around here that comes from the strain, lack of sleep, eating too much salt, or allergies. I like eye creams that can help in diminishing this a little bit. However, the puffiness in bags that comes from genetics or comes from aging and the loss of baby fat, that's going to take a lot more to get rid of. Similarly, dark circles that come from genetic pigmentation will also require something a lot stronger to make a difference in the long term. For the other dark circles that are from pigmentation from sun exposure or from lifestyle or from aging because your skin gets more and more translucent, then there are ingredients that are great for brightening the skin in the long term and some that could temporarily brighten the skin under your eyes as well. But for me, the best product at eliminating dark circles under the eyes has always been a good concealer. So fine lines are also something that can be impacted in the short term and obviously prevented in the long term with good ingredients, ones that are particularly hydrating and volumize the skin and fill it out so they appear a lot less noticeable. I don't always believe that a separate eye cream is necessary, but these are the situations when I do. Our eyes are very sensitive. The skin around our eyes thinner and more sensitive than the skin on the rest of our face. So a lot of facial products that we use can contain ingredients that might migrate and irritate our eyes. Fragrances, both synthetic and natural, essential oils can be irritating as well as a lot of botanical plant um, extracts and of course alcohol as well. The other times to consider a separate eye cream is when your skin is either dry or oily because if you're dry then the cream that you're using on your skin may just be too rich for the area around your eye and you do not want to start getting milia. You start developing these little sort of white head like hard bumps that are very deep seated into your skin around around this area. And those are so difficult to get rid of. They take months to either get absorbed back into your skin or to actually um, extract out. So the minute you see those little bumps appearing stop whatever you're using whether it's your eye cream or your facial cream and just switch to something very light so on the flip side when your skin is very oily this area under here may still be quite dry so whatever you're using on your face may not be uh, moisturizing enough now if you're already using a moisturizer that is formulated in a way that doesn't sting your eye at all and is just the right amount of richness so that it doesn't create milia or it doesn't dry out this area then you really don't need a separate eye cream Eye serums have become my favorite eye treatment. I prefer them to eye creams. I wasn't looking for another step to put into my skincare routine, but when I started using eye serums, which really was quite recently, it was the only time I actually saw a real difference. And it all started with this product from Mori Pacific, which you've seen in all my morning skincare routines. This is just so good, intensely hydrating this area around your eyes, and it just makes your skin so wonderfully plump with hydration, like a lot of Korean skincare products are just so good at doing. This has the antioxidant and caffeine of like the green tea, it's got niacinamide, and a whole powerful blend of fermented ingredients. In fact, there are a lot of times where I don't even layer eye cream over this, I just sort of put makeup over it and that's it. 
Drunk Elephant is a brand that I've been enjoying so much lately, there's not even a chance of having anything in here that would remotely irritate your eyes. So the packaging of this is really cool, it's sort of like an injection, and it dispenses just the right minute amount that you need for each eye. But what's great about this, it's like a creamy sort of gel-like texture that sinks completely into your eye area, like there is not even a trace of it. And because of that, this is just perfect to layer under an eye cream. This treatment is just all about long-term treatment and prevention rather than any temporary relief or temporary cover-ups. This is for fighting signs of aging before it begins or further signs of aging. This should also help with brightening over time. While Mori Pacific has a lot of fantastic ingredients in it, it's a lot about the hydration and this really isn't. It's just more about treatment. So the Tatcha Serum is one that sits in between both those products. This is also a formula that sinks very quickly into the skin, leaving barely a trace, so it's great to layer under an actual eye cream. This also has this fabulous cooling ceramic tip, which as you can see, covers quite a wide amount of surface area around your eyes. So it's just really therapeutic when you use this to just perform a little bit of lymphatic drainage massage around your eye. This is a very potent formula with a lot of fantastic ingredients. And it, unlike the Drunk Elephant one, this manages to be quite hydrating as well. There's some hydrating ingredients in here, but the light weightness of it is not compromised at all. In fact, this could even be considered a very light moisturizer. This is an eye serum that I started using not so long ago, and I love it. It's from Dr. Dennis Gross, and it's his Ferulic and Retinol Triple Correction Eye Serum. This contains two supercharged anti-aging ingredients, which combined together is just... It has retinol and ferulic acid, a very powerful antioxidant. Reason I got this is because I decided I needed to step up my anti-aging around the eye area game. Honestly, I was just sick of having dry, flaky skin around my eyes. Every time I put on eye makeup or concealer, I would have to deal with all this flakiness. And it's not like you can exfoliate your eye area because that's just not a good thing to do. And really, there are no better ingredients for cell regeneration than retinoids. So I figured I'd give this a try because this has an amazing ingredients list. This is such a well-rounded formula and treatment. It's got the retinol, the antioxidants, and the plant extracts that are really soothing and healing. The texture of this is gel-like, it's lightweight, it doesn't migrate so you can put it on your eyelids. In fact, this is one aspect of serums that I really love is that you can actually put them on your eyelids as well. This is also pretty hydrating, it's got sodium hyaluronate in it, but for me, I definitely need to use this underneath something a little more creamy and emollient. I love the way this product over time has really smoothed out my skin, gotten rid of a lot of that sort of dryness and flakiness that was just sitting on the surface. So I started out using this every other night just to avoid any possibility of irritation. So eye serums, like I mentioned in my morning routines, it's not a step you have to have, but it's a step that's actually really nice to have. To be honest, if I had to choose between using an eye serum and an eye cream, I would just go with an eye serum that I could just pull off as an eye cream as well. This is something I started doing recently. I've been loving it. I think it's so effective. And that is I've been using oils under my eyes as a treatment. These are the same oils that I use on the rest of my face, but the ones I use are so full of antioxidants. They're anti-aging. They're just fantastic and very pure treatments. So these are my favorite ones to use. I love the marula oil from Drunk Elephant. Marula oil is so packed with antioxidants. It's so great for anti-aging. It's also hydrating, but it's not greasy at all. It's an oil that just gets absorbed so quickly into your skin. The other oil I love for under eye treatment is rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is, again, so fantastic for anti-aging. It's got vitamin A. It is nature's tretinoin or retin-A. It's also full of antioxidants and it's just non-greasy, which is just perfect for the under eye area. And of course, camellia oil. This one from Blossom Jeju is a dry oil again, so it is non-greasy. It just absorbs directly into the skin. Perfect for anti-aging, perfect for dryness. Even though so I'm gonna start off with some eye creams that I've enjoyed using, and they're great for if you haven't really begun to show signs of aging yet. You don't really have that many major concerns with the skin around your eyes, but you do want a good moisturizer for that eye area. The first one is just a rare and exciting drugstore surprise, Cerave's Eye Repair Cream. Formulation-wise, this baby is seriously impressive. The second ingredient is niacinamide. 
this also has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, aloe vera, vitamin E, almond oil. There are three ingredients in here, when combined and formulated properly, will penetrate the skin more effectively and actually moisturize the skin and build the skin up from within. This is also a very lightweight consistency for me. I personally need a little more emollients, so this is actually the perfect eye cream to layer over a serum. This is another eye cream that I started using quite a while ago. It is a great, fabulous, very lightweight formula, but this is formulated more like a serum. The Maison Snail Repair Eye Cream is part of the crazy popular snail repair um, product line from Maison. Their all-in-one snail repair cream is probably one of the most popular and best-selling snail products around. This formula contains 80% snail mucin, which if you don't know by now, is a very powerful healing ingredient. It is full of antioxidants, proteins. It's naturally antimicrobial, has skin brightening properties, and also has been shown to reverse skin dam sun damage. The next key ingredient is something called meadow foam seed oil. And this oil is one that's very highly rich in antioxidants and it's not greasy at all. This also has niacinamide, sodium hyaluronate. This is a very lightweight gel texture. It absorbs very quickly into the skin, but definitely leaves it feeling very hydrated still. For that reason, I actually like putting this on my eyelids as well. You'll get the hydration and moisturization without the heaviness. This is great to wear under makeup. It definitely smooths out the skin and fills in those lines and gives you a good canvas to work on. And it's just great at soothing, healing, and strengthening the skin around your eyes. So just like with the CeraVe eye cream, you are getting a really great formula for a very reasonable price. Yes, yeah. You've seen me use the Bobbi Brown Hydrating Eye Cream in my skincare routines. I feel like this has just the right amount of hydration and emollients to smooth out my lower eyelids. And on the plus side, this was developed by a makeup artist brand, so you can imagine that this has to at least sit really well under concealer and makeup. And that's what this is great for, is providing that wonderfully smooth and hydrated base underneath your makeup so you don't have these cracking fine lines coming through. The texture of this is really comforting. Um, when you apply it on your skin, it just feels very good on your skin. And there's a lot of soothing, hydrating ingredients in this. As far as eye creams with sunscreens are concerned, I do admit that I rely on sunglasses most of the time to protect my um, eyes from the sun. A lot of eye creams with sunscreens that I've tried have actually irritated my eyes, or they leave this just horrifying white cast. My favorite one, and the only one I use, is this one from Shiseido. I can't say enough about Shiseido's Sun Protection Skincare line. They've been merging great anti-aging skincare with sun protection for ages already, and they've been doing it so well. Admittedly, I far prefer the products in this line that you can buy in Asia or in Europe. There is a big limitation of UV filters, particularly the UVA ones allowed in the US. So unfortunately, this line had to be reformulated to be sold in the US. So rather than having um, a PA rating of plus, 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 three pluses, they had to drop it down to PA plus, plus. So if you're purchasing this outside of the US, this has a PA plus, plus, plus protection. When you first apply this cream, it looks like it's gonna leave the worst white cast ever, but that completely disappears and blends into the skin, leaving nothing but a really smooth, glowy sheen. This totally brightens up the area underneath your eyes, but really it's so hydrating as well. And as with all the other products in this sun protection skincare line, it is recommended by the Skin Cancer Foundation. Now for some eye creams that have a bit more punch. They're great for aging concerns or anti-aging or for when you start noticing the first signs. This eye cream was part of my haul from when I went to Seoul. It is the Belief Peat Miracle Revital Eye Cream. I was told that this eye cream is their best-selling product from the whole brand. So this is part of their Peat Miracle line, which is a line that's dedicated to anti-aging, rejuvenation. It's meant to be for those of you who are just beginning to see the first signs. The ingredients list of the herbal blends in this product and all of Belif products is quite dizzying. Simply, this is chock full of skin-loving and soothing herbal extracts. The scent of this to me is intoxicating. It is subtle, but a fragrant medicinal herbal scent. This is a wonderfully rich and creamy formula. A little goes a long way, and there is so much product in here. I don't know how long it's gonna last. This actually has the same texture and feel of a lot of the luxury brand eye creams out there. I mean, to be perfectly honest, this really reminds me of Suwasu's Ginseng Renewal Concentrated Eye Cream, which I love so much. But now that I found this, I'm not missing as much. 
For more mature skin, or if you really suffer from dryness around your eyes, then there's Shiseido's Benefiance Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. Um, but it may be very heavy for some. This is fantastic for the winter time, but I actually like that it has a teeny tiny bit of greasiness to it. This is definitely better as a night treatment eye cream for that reason, because makeup may have a hard time applying over this. This definitely smooths things out, plumps the skin out, you don't see those fine lines so much. Shiseido has kept the price of this product the same for the last over five years. While everything else is going up in price in the market, this price has not changed. It's a couple of drugstore eye creams that I tried that have retinol in them, which I found to be pretty effective. But do keep in mind that even though these are very low levels of retinol and are designed to be extremely gentle on your skin, you still may have a sensitive reaction, so start off conservatively. Use a very small quantity, apply it one time a day, preferably at night, and you don't need to do this every day. La Roche-Posay, another one of the best French dermaceutical brands, has a line called Redermic, which contains retinol. And they have a Redermic eye cream, and it uses pure retinol, but it's very, very mildly formulated. The texture of this eye cream is very light, silky smooth, it's not greasy, it's not emollient, it sinks right into your skin. This has a combination of retinol, adenosine, it's got caffeine, and it's also got some brightening ingredients in there. This is formulated for the retinol to be gentler but work faster and more efficiently without the usual irritation. On me, I find this to be quite gentle, although I'm very conservative. I don't use this every day, but I do feel like it has smoothed things out. The skin around my eyes has definitely gotten softer and I don't feel like I have a lot of dry patches. So the ROC retinol correction is basically what they call a slow release retinol formula, which I mean, that could basically mean that there are just a lot of emollients in here. But this is so mild that if you are worried or, or scared of having retinol in your eye cream, then you might want to start off with this. So guys, those are the eye creams and eye serums that I've been using and loving. I mean, I was really tempted to talk about so many more products. It was really hard to narrow the list down because there are other eye creams that I've used that I have liked. But, you know, I mean, this video is already long enough as it is. I would love to know what eye creams you've been using, what you love, if there's anything that we covered today that you really want to try out, let me know. Meanwhile, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.